Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight it'll be the Seattle Storm going up against the Las Vegas Aces. And from Sin City, I'm Blake Suniga, joined by two terrible poker players, Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. And we're in for a good one tonight. Queen shot is good. And for those teams starting out kind of slow, many people just chalk it up to cobwebs. The important thing is that a win is a win. Wins now count the same as wins later, but so do losses. The difference for good teams, I guess, is winning later gives them momentum heading into the postseason. It's going to take more than that to throw Collier off. That's a strong presence from Charlie down low. And here's Queen. No good with the triple. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Now here's Collier. Pass to Whitcomb. The three. Good. First shot, first basket. A true sniper. Defenses should know that Whitcomb will be hunting for these looks. Now here is Queen. Defended by Turner. Queen misses. First quarter play with about a minute and a half gone by. Now here's Turner. Defense right on her. Let's go with a three. And the storm. Another three. Off to a nice start. They've been all three from the field. Now here is Queen. Defended by Turner. Pass to Wilson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Candace Parker. You know, over the second half of her career, Parker's assist numbers have increased significantly, thanks in large part to her savvy. Now Turner. Now here's Collier. Turner in the post. Queen covering. Six to shoot. The shot by Collier. No good. Nearly got a finger to that shot of the block attempt. It was just as effective as a block. Made her completely change her release point and caused the miss. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. Pass to Whitcomb. Outside, Williams. Collier, she's guarded by Wilson. Baseline try. It's hauled in by Williams. The ace is trailing. Outside, Young. Parker up top. Queen, beyond the arc. Buries it from three-point range. What a dime from Candace Parker. It's so fun watching her set up her teammates. Pass to Whitcomb. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Outside, Williams. Now here's Collier. She's guarded by Wilson. Will it go? Rebound by the Aces. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Pass to Queen. Young. Shoots over Williams. Young shot is off. Turner with the ball. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The screen by Collier. Whitcomb. And a miss there on the triple. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Young Turn shot's out. good. Well, usually she's providing the pass. Young Turn has to be out. happy to be on the receiving end of a catch and shoot. More than willing to fire. Now a timeout called by Seattle.
the storm trail. Here's Turner looking for her first basket still in this one. Back to Whitcomb. Williams guarded by Young. Five on the clock. Outside Williams. And again, it's the storm missing. Pass to Queen. That's in, coming off an assist from Jackie Young. Yeah, Young is such an effective ball handler. Spots the wide open shooter and passes the rock. The screen by Magbagor. Whitcomb. To stop the drought. The shot is good, and so is her shooting tonight. Three for four. Here's Queen. Nine points in the game. And who doesn't love a three-point specialist these days? Sammy Whitcomb certainly qualifies as one. Well, she rarely takes twos. Whitcomb knows her role, space the floor, knock down threes, and few players do it better than Sammy. Now here's Plum. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, it's Las Vegas. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Screen by Magbagor. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Collier. Turner. Here's Whitcomb. And the storm. Another three. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. The ace is leading. Screen by Young. The three is up. It's rebounded by Seattle. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. Now here's Magbagor. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Five to shoot. And here's Whitcomb. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. Magnador grabs the miss. And it's the Storm with the ball. Trailing by four. Left side, Whitcomb. Pass to Williams. Back to Whitcomb. Williams, guarded by Young. Williams gets it to go. Now Parker. The crossover. Kicks it out to Plum. And stolen by Collier. Oh, and the fast break for the Storm. Here's Whitcomb. And she hits it to tie up the game. And she's having a quarter converting at a high percentage. Now here is Queen. D right on her. Three-pointer Kelsey Plum. Dreams it from beyond the arc. An extremely accurate shooter. Plum has finished top five in the league in three-point shooting. Here's Turner. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Pass to Magbagor. Williams. Screened by Magbagor. Now here's Turner. Now here's Magdegor. Four on the shot clock. And the layup's good off the glass. I like how Magdegor picks her spots on offense, knows when to look to score inside. Now here is Queen, defended by Turner. Here's Queen. Off target from three-point range. And the Storm with possession. Whitcomb with it. She's got 14. Here's Collier. Oh, and she misses the go-ahead basket. Pass to Plum. Wilson the screen. Over to the left wing. And 
she lays it straight in. A bruiser in the painted area. Wilson also has a soft touch. And they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Pass to Turner. Outside Williams. And here's Collier. Here's Magbador. The shot will not fall. Here's Queen. She's got nine. Oh! And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Number seven. And here is Nurse. Pass to Horston. Let's the three fly. The shot that time, not on target. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Ace is ahead, up six, and will return shortly. Second quarter getting ready to start up. And uh, guys, what's your take on the aces so far? The work they've done here early on the glass, it's been very nice. Yeah, they've definitely established a good low post presence. The storm trail. Pass to Magbagor. The left wing. Now here's Horston. From downtown, she's now one for two with that bucket. Oh, and she's shooting it with conviction. Horston, really dangerous. Clark outside. Plum. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. Three is going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Now here's Horston. Down low. A nice shot by Magbador. It's a really nice pass from Horston, showing some playmaking. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Clark outside. Back to Plum. The tray. Storm with the rebound. Now Holmes. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Horston. Shot clock at six. Again, Seattle. Sweet touch from the in-between area. Horston takes what the defense gives. Clark outside. Plum. It's good from long range. This is really the story of the game here. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Now here's Nurse. Defense is right there. And Giadu no good. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. 
Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Here's Stokes. Pass to Colson. Tries a three. Another three for Las Vegas. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Now here's Horston. Five points in the game. Magbegor. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Defense doesn't think they have to challenge Magbegor at the arc, but as he sinks a focused three-point shot. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Back to Plum. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Seattle. Now here's Horston. It's stolen. And now the Aces on the break. Got a piece of it. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter play. Inside. Here's Mengiadu. And too long on the shot. The Aces with the lead. Out to the wing. Here's Colson. Pass to Parker. Drills it from outside. You better follow Parker to the corner. If you lose track of Candace, she'll make it pay. Now here's Horston. She's guarded closely. Nurse outside. The layup miss. And here's Colson. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Drafted in 2020 out of Australia, Ezzy Magbegor had quite the rookie season. Well, she was just 20 at the time, helping Seattle to the Wubble title. And with each year in the league, Magbegor's really made strides, turning into one of the top shot blockers in the W. Out to the wing. Magbegor in the post. Nurse. Off target with the three. Surprising miss, wouldn't you say? I mean, she usually devours those wide open opportunities. Good on the bucket. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here's McLegore. Seven points in the game. First outside. Block at six. Pass to Holmes. And again, it's the storm missing. And it's the Aces with the ball. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest lead. Left side, Plum. Parker. Here's Colson. That three off the mark. And the storm with possession. Pass to Horston. Holmes. Horston with it. Five points in the game. And again, it's the storm missing. And here's Holson. Plum with it. From the yard. Makes the bucket. He's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range. Time Seattle out, time calls out. timeout. The playoff format. Top eight teams, regardless of conference, make it. Three-game first rounds, five-game semis, and finals. How do you guys like that? Well, I love it. You know, I love the playoff format. My favorite part is just one 18 bracket. Get the best squads in there. And that first round is great. The first two games at the better seeded team. So if you're the higher seed, you really want to sweep and avoid that winner take all game three on the road.
teams will make substitutions. Pass to Turner. Benjiadu. Collier outside. Here's Whitcomb. To the paint. Can they get it? And Mengiadu gets it to go. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. And here are the aces now. Now Williams. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Wilson. Second chance shot. And she takes it up and lays it in. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Now here's Turner. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Collier. Six on the shot clock. And she makes good on the layup. Well, one of the many reasons Collier was the first overall pick, she is an elite offensive rebounder. Now Queen, defended by Turner. Back to Plum. Outside Williams. Launches a three with the rebound. Now here's Turner. Outside Williams. Turner a street. To the inside. Here's Mengiadu. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. You know, they started the game shooting well from outside. I'm a bit surprised they haven't continued to, to test the hot hand from out there. Yeah, test the hot hand. You're right. I say strap some wings on that basketball and let those triples fly. Now here is Queen. She's got 12. Plum gets the bucket. She is showing a killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend this lead. Seattle with the ball. A 12-point game. Collier outside. Whitcomb. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal That's screen. Green. That's foul number two on her. It might not warrant the sitting her just yet, but another one before halftime, it definitely would warrant that. Here's Queen. For three. Offensive board. Charlie Collier with some nice D. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Back to Williams. Clock at six. To the middle. Pass to Magvigor. Score the basket, her fourth, and she's only missed one of her five shots tonight. That's a heads-up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Now here is Queen, defended by Turner. Queen misses. You know, it might be a poor shooting performance for her, but luckily her teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Turner. She's guarded closely. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Collier. With the teardrop. That one goes. Count it. That shot is unstoppable. Charlie Collier with the float game. And her release point with her height it is way up there near the rafters. Inside. Wilson lays it up and in off the pretty assist. It's so hard to contain her. I mean, she just gets it done however she has to do it. From deep three-point range. Oh, no good trying to beat the buzzer. So we conclude the first half. Aces ahead. They're up by 10. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
And now the third quarter about to get going again. A fantastic game from Kelsey Plum in this one. Well, in terms of her points in the first half, that's pretty much what uh, we've come to expect. Which tells you really all you need to know about what a strong talent she is. I mean, I'm going to bet that she adds a lot more to her totals after the break. Now the second half about to get started up again any moment. And here's Williams. Turner with the ball. Outside Whitcomb. Collier. She's guarded by Wilson. And the basket by Collier. We know Collier has range, but Charlie is at her best when she operates down low, close in. The Aces with the lead. Now Young. Pass to Wilson. Over Collier. And it's Wilson missing. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. Screen by Magbagor. Now here's Whitcomb. Collier. Covered by Collier. The three ball. Queen. Shot is good. Well, you might be surprised by Williams' court vision. But she isn't. She knows she can make sharp passes offensively. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute played. And guys, I heard that Asia Wilson got her first championship ring sized for her pinky finger. Now that is bravado. Saying you're starting on your pinky finger so you can fill up the other rings in order? You just gotta love that level of raw ambition in a star player. Two on the clock. Here's Whitcomb. That three off target had some space there after the little pump bait. From outside the arc, Queen shot is good. That's two bombs in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Now here's Turner. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. The screen by Collier. Whitcomb with it. Williams there. Wilson with the steal. Unhindered going all the way. And Williams gets it to go. With three of four to start the half. Here's Turner. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Well, guys, Asia Wilson continues to demonstrate why she's a top defender. The 2022 WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, Asia Wilson takes defense very seriously, and she expects her teammates to do the same. You just gotta love how she sets the tone.
Pass to Williams. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes pass. Screen by Magbegore. Here's Whitcomb. The long distance three is buried. Yeah, she certainly is not the one to blame for them being in the hole today. She's been right on the money. Now here is Queen. 18 points for her. Pass to Young. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And it's pretty hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. When you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. Here's Collier. Eight points for her. And there's the call on Young. Jackie, That's her first foul. First foul, team's coach. First team foul. Outside Whitcomb. Collier. Shot clock at five. For three. Oh. Wilson pulls it down. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Now here's Parker. He has five. Wilson, left side, over Magvigor. And a kind roll that time on the rim as that one falls in. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Pass to Collier. Williams. Back to Collier. Outside Whitcomb. And here's Collier. She's guarded by Wilson. Collier gets the bucket. Oh, very effective from the mid-range. Collier's jumper, it forces defenders to come out of the paint. And confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. Pass to Parker. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Storm. Storm ball. It's the storm with the ball. Collier outside. Now Turner. Whitcomb. She's guarded by Williams. It's Gabby Williams on the wing. Shot clock at six. And out of bounds, the Aces will take it. the aces with it. The lead is 15. Now here is Queen. Defended by Turner. Queen got as good. Just on fire from beyond the arc. Seems like just about all of her points are coming from deep. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. Queen with a strong contribution so far in this one. She's cooking with gas right now. They needed to call this timeout so the whole team can get a game plan together and shut her down.
So both teams making some changes here. Turner still getting warmed up offensively no buckets yet in the game for her just five on the clock pass to Whitcomb lets it go from deep it's hauled in by the aces you can tell she thought that triple was gonna fall she's just shaking her head after that miss Queen with the ball she's guarded by Williams and the ball out of play, the Storm will have it. Here's Whitcomb. 17 points in the game. Pass to Turner. Back to Whitcomb. And Giadu. Six to shoot. The 11-footer. Bucket is good. That's a well-run trip down the floor. They're enjoying a commanding lead. And you know the best part? It gives them an opportunity to, to give their starters a rest. Yeah, they might not have to come back in. Queen misses. And it's the Storm with the ball. Pass to Whitcomb. Clock at six. Outside Williams. Here's Collier. Parker defending. Fades back. Collier can't get it to go. And when the LA Sparks won the 2008 draft lottery, Candace Parker was the automatic first overall pick. And what a career she had in Los Angeles, winning MVP as a rookie, playing over a decade with the Sparks. Candace leaving a serious basketball legacy in LA. Three pointers are killing them, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. But the way to turn that around is defensively, you know, by stopping their outside shot, not by getting into a shootout. Now here's Williams. Pass to Collier. Now here's Whitcomb. She's guarded by Plum. Back to Collier. Good for her sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Now here is Queen, defended by Turner. Left side Parker. And here is Wilson. Now Queen. Plum, she's guarded by Williams. Wilson sets a screen. see Plum from outside. The second chance effort. And she was fouled in the act of shooting opportunity for a three-point play and that'll increase their rebound advantage they've definitely been winning that battle today and control the boards has given them control of this game both teams deciding to change it up Come with it. 17 points in the game. Watches it. It's a deflection. Here's Queen. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now here's Nurse. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Now here's Horston. Tight defense on her. Pass to Mengiadu. And it's going to be a three-second call. Boneheaded play, guys. Plain and simple. And mistakes like that are going to make it very hard for them to get out of this hole. And that's part of the reason why they're in this hole. 
And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Clark. Forced in defending. Here's Plum. Queen. Pass to Clark. And here's Parker. Six on the shot clock. Wilson with it. To the wing on the left. Queen. Another three for Las Vegas. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. And there's the pick. Pass to Holmes. They need this. Drops in the tray. The rapid fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Now here is Queen. He's got 27. Now here's Clark. Again, Las Vegas. So for someone like Clark, who has shot over 50% from deep over an entire season, I mean, mid range has got to feel like a layup. Here's Nurse. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Now here's Horston. She's covered by Clark. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. First team foul. Pass to Whitcomb. Over Queen. And it's Seattle scoring again. Great to see Whitcomb's offense just flowing. She's locked in, and she's ready to attack on every possession. Outside Plum. Here's Queen. And the aces, another three. If someone is open, Plum will find them. She's got phenomenal court vision. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. Aces ahead, delivering the blowout. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Welcome back as the fourth quarter is right ahead. Not exactly a close contest here. Now Queen. Ooh, man, I know a hot topic in the WNBA amongst players, charter flights. Well, credit the league. This last offseason, they expanded their charter flight program taking steps in the right direction. And it's about the quality of the games. We'll see charter flights used for the Commissioner's Cup, all playoff games, and select regular season games, mostly back to back. She's created some good opportunities for herself and made the most of them. Now here's Horston. Nurse outside. Horston, queen covering. Green by Magbagor. Pass to Nurse. Just five to shoot. Horston. Over Queen. Asia Wilson grabs the board. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. Now here's Horston. Pass to Nurse. Shoots over Plum. Nurse with the bucket. Well, Nurse does most of her work out at the perimeter. But let her inside and she'll make you pay. Now here is Queen. Horston defending. Here's Plum to the inside and stolen by Horston. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Pass to Holmes. Nurse. And the 
Storm, another three. Such a solid shooter. Nurse has a, a quick release, makes her dangerous off the field. Here's Williams. Shot's good by Clark. The want to generate more of those shots in tight. Horston with it. Here's Holmes. Magnador. Pass to Holmes. One thing I love about the WNBA, we see rule changes here before the NBA. Well, the league does an incredible job experimenting, trying out new things that make the game better for us fans. The best part for me is the speed of a WNBA game and how the rules help that. You watch a game and it's basically constant action. Fewer commercial breaks means more exciting plays. And the three ball is good. It's a shot you have to practice so much to pull up. It's hard to nail. And you can tell Nurse has put in so much work in the gym in the offseason on that shot. Timeout called the Aces. Olsen. Pass to George. Magmagor grabs the miss. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Here's Kia Nurse from the arc. Rebounded by Colson. And you look at the ratings for the WNBA. Guys, they are skyrocketing every single year. Well, it's through major increases during the 2022 season. And you just look at the 2023 draft. It was the most watched in almost 20 years. I love seeing how much the league continues to grow. And you use the right word, grow. It happens with viewership, getting more eyeballs on this incredible league. While other sports leagues have seen kind of declines in their ratings, the WNBA continues to take steps forward. Shot clock at six. The shot from 20 feet. Orson, no good. And here are the aces now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Down low. And here's George. And a missed layup. outside goes up and lays it in nice and easy I love to see it her confidence has come back since halftime here's Colson pass to Plum puts up a three Storm with the rebound not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. 
I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. And a shot by Nurse, no good. Here's Las Vegas. And here's Colson. Knocked away. Now here's Horston. The WNBA going with a 40-game slate in 2023, up from 36 the year prior, a new high for a season. Yeah, more basketball is always great, right? And I just like how the league is expanding the schedule. So when you look at those game weeks, they're a lot more packed. It's a fantastic move. Listen, I mean, everybody wants to see more games, and that's what we're getting. Here's Horston. Pass to Magvagor. Now here's Nurse. Just five on the clock. Boots over Plum. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Well, look, no matter what the score is, her attitude has been perfect. I mean, she has stayed in attack mode. Now here's Plum. Pass to George. Nifty move. That one falls. And it's the storm with the ball. Nurse outside. Here's Magbagor. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. Really, that's her strong suit. The ability to find a way through the D and finish at the rim. Now here's Plum. They double-team Kelsey Plum. Pass to George. Takes the three. Hits it from three-point range. A wide-open three. They need much better communication defensively. And here are the Storm now. And here's Collier. She's covered by Clark. On the wing, Jordan Horston. Magnagore. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Clark outside. Back to Plum. They double-team Kelsey Plum. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Charlie Collier. That is her third foul so far. Lots of talk about expansion in the WNBA. Can we see a team in Canada, guys? I hope so, and I think Toronto is the place to go. They love hoops out there, and the Raptors already have a great fan base you could tap into. Uh, during the 2023 preseason, the WNBA held a game in Toronto that was sold out. And with the amount of Canadian players we're seeing in this league, I think it'd be a great move. Here's George to the paint. Here's Clark. Here's George, covered by Collier. George can't hit. Turner with the ball. Pass to Collier. Williams. The screen by Collier. The three. George with the rebound. And this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance it's been. Clark outside. George. Now Plum. Clock at six. They double-team Kelsey Plum. Three-pointer. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Williams. Magnador. And here's Turner. Here's Collier. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Now here's Plum. Not a lot of room. They double-team Kelsey Plum. 
Clark outside, back to Plum. The shot's good. Alicia Clark making the play. Well, capable of winning a scoring title. Kelsey Plum is a bucket, and they have no answer for her. Pass to Magvigor. Now here's Collier. Now Whitcomb. She's guarded by Plum. Six on the shot clock. Magvigor, no good. Didn't see that miss coming. She's usually so good from that range. Clark outside. Plum. Whitcomb defending. Here's Polson. Offline with a three. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Turner. She's covered closely. Here's Collier. Lays it up and banks it in. I'm not sure really in that set who was supposed to be on her there. And apparently neither did the defenders. Outside Plum. So it's the Aces winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were better basketball team by far. You gotta commend this sort of dominance here at home and feeling great. Playing well nearly the whole game. And I, I could feel it. This building was pumped, guys. And that'll wrap it up.